It's my Quake anniversary month. October 1998 is when I started playing. That's 19 years ago. It all began in Quake 2 Capture the Flag. I want to show you this game because it was intense. Have you ever had friends that you love but you want to beat them in games really badly? This is one of those. Just a quick note, if you're a Quake 2 CTF player from Australia or New Zealand, check the description or stay until the end of the video. 4SG would like to hear from you. Actually, that goes for other Quake players as well. Anyway, my friends and I were part of the same team, which fell apart and so we all joined separate teams. But they all joined one team, HSA, and I joined another, KJ. The first map, they beat us 6-1 or something. The second map is the one I showed you in my last Quake Anniversary video, where I got the winning cap, and it was 1-0. This is the third and deciding map, AS2M7. The winner would go on to the quarterfinals. So given they were my friends, and this was actually for a final spot, we were going to go as hard as we possibly could. Now, what's different in Quake 2 CTF is that there is a grapple hook, mostly used by attackers, and also 4 tech power-ups. Autodock recharges your health, power amp doubles your damage, time excel speeds up your rate of fire, and Disruptor Shield, which reduces the damage by about 25%. There are only 4 on the entire map, and they can be shared among teammates. Generally, you get them and give them to your defenders. More on that later. Now, to give you a bit more history, the players on the enemy team are very good. I'd played them a lot, and I knew there was almost no chance of getting past them. So while it may seem like I'm not doing anything, and I'm missing a lot of shots, I'm actually just getting a read on the game to find a chink in their armor. And they got the first capture. Tensions were high, and even though it was well done, given all the trash talk, there's no way I would have admitted it at the time. Later, I'm still filling out the game and realize I'm needed as a roamer, and actually save the capture by returning the flag. I was able to get a few hits and kills, but that wasn't really my goal. I just wanted to stop their flag runners, and also get the flag myself. And you'll note, as soon as I get a tech power up, I take it back to my base for my defenders. It's too valuable at this stage to even risk losing it. Keeping the defenders alive could mean one less capture. Here I'm waiting for the flag runner. but he chooses a second route and gets past. That's 2-0. And remember, final map. I know I have to do something. I'm meant to be the flag runner. So I go in and try for a cap. Thankfully, teammates are there to cause more confusion. This was in the day when we had very little communication. I used a route I almost never used to confuse the defense over the rock launcher, but they're waiting for me, so I change direction and go the other way. In such a strong defensive game, the grapple really livens things up. I do some subtle dodging, as they expect me to go the fastest route. I go slightly to the side of where I should go if I were doing a fast cap. That way, I avoid their prediction, and with nothing but 100 health, 50 armor and a grapple, I get the capture. I went in again several times more, and of course died. Seriously, their defense was very strong. But notice here the flag is returned. I could go get it, but I don't because I don't want their attention. I just stole power amp. That's double damage. This is potentially the most important play of the game outside of the captures, because if the enemy doesn't have it, I can now attack without dying to one shot. And when they attack my base, they will now die in one shot. This is a huge turning point. So I sneak it home and give it to the defense. The teammate drops auto dock back to me, so I wait on defense and recharge my health until I can give it to someone else. Doc is amazing to attack with, but it's not worth risking a loss. I'm playing this very safe. We now have power amp and auto dock on defense. That's what I want my defenders to have, but they give me the shield back. This I don't mind attacking with, because they don't have double damage anymore. So I go to tank up a little. 95 health and 53 armor, that will do. No time to waste. I go in and I get hit by a rail straight away, down to 77, and dead. But I don't give up. I go straight back in with grenades and get another tech. You see, without the power amp, we are actually starting to break their defense down. I run in and get the flag, see the shield, grab that, off I go. but they are everywhere. Have to change direction, recharge a bit. And then do the unexpected movement again to avoid dying to an enemy waiting for me. Quick hop and a skip, that's capture two. Two all, three minutes to go. Lose my tech, but I go right back after it. A single grenade kills both and I take it back.
Good defense blocks me, doesn't matter, go straight back in. Keep them on their toes. Fifty-one seconds left, Dab18 grabs the flag. I go to help him out, but I can't find him. He must have gone the other way. It's a miracle, he caps it. If my memory serves me correctly, I found out later that he was meant to be on defense, but he saw the time limit, had auto dock, and went for a run. Which is very smart, it doesn't matter if you lose anything at that point. And then we're up 3-2 with 30 seconds left. Forget attacking, just defend. Lock them out. I couldn't actually hit a single shot, but it didn't matter. We have double damage on defense. That's why I took the tech back instead of attacking with it. That's why I was willing to leave the flag behind. Without that tech, I doubt we would have won this. According to the dates on the file, this game was played 17th of May 2001, over 16 years ago, and it's still the greatest game of Quake I've ever played. The tension was ridiculous, the nerves were crazy. I can't tell you how badly I wanted to beat my friends. After all the trash talk, after all the boasting, they were serious CTF players. My team was serious Rocket Arena 2 players, with a very basic CTF strategy. Somehow, we were able to get the victory. I'll probably never forget this game. Quake is amazing, especially Quake 2 Capture the Flag. Love the strategy of sharing ammo, tech power-ups and more. I can only hope CTF and Quake Champions is on this level. Anyway, if you're from Australia and want to join a Quake community, there's a group called Four Seasons Gaming. They have Quake Live and Quake Champions competitions, so check the description for the Discord if you want to join in. And I suggest only joining if you can ping OK to Australia. So this is mainly for people in Australia and New Zealand. And there are some there that are going to play Quake 2 CTF as well. So if you join that Discord, join the Q2 CTF channel. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more Quake Champions and Quake videos, including tutorials once the game is in a better state. Like and share this one, and I'll catch you in the next.